While a new MacBook Pro might last you several years, the same cannot be said for its battery, and that's the case for any portable computer. And while I love the unibody concept, internalizing the battery did make it a little more difficult for average people to get in there and repair it themselves. But that's never stopped us, and it shouldn't stop you, because this repair is super easy and really quick. Hi, I'm MJ with iFixit, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the battery in a 13-inch unibody MacBook Pro. This video is a great overview of the process, but of course, when you're replacing your battery, you'll want to follow the step-by-step -step instructions in the repair guide on our site. The version I'm working on is a mid-2011 version, and while the process is really similar for previous iterations, I'd still recommend following the repair guide for your specific MacBook Pro. That all being said, I'm going to get my parts and tools together so I can get started. For this repair, you're going to need a plastic spudger, a Phillips double zero screwdriver, and a Y1 tri-wing driver, both of which I got from our 54-piece bit driver kit, and of course, a replacement battery. To get started, I'm going to remove the lower case by taking out all the Phillips screws along the bottom. Once those screws are out, the lower case should just lift right off. Okay, so right off the bat, we can see the battery and really there's not a whole lot holding it in place. The first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the battery from the logic board. And this is gonna be the first step in pretty much any repair that has a battery involved because the last thing you want is residual electricity just kind of flying around in there. So we're gonna use our plastic spudger to kind of pry up one side and then the other, kind of walking the connector out of the socket. Once the battery is disconnected, there's only a couple of screws and a sticker holding it in place. The screws are of the not-so-common tri-wing variety, so while you might think you can use a Phillips head driver to remove them, doing so will only result in stripped screws, so make sure you use a proper tri-wing driver. With those screws out, I'm just gonna kinda look the other way <laughs> as I lift up this warning sticker, and then the battery should slide out pretty easily. Installing the new battery is as easy as sliding it in and reconnecting it. Of course, you can find all of the parts and tools for this and many other repairs at ifixit.com. And if you run into any problems during your repairs, there are lots of solutions in the MacBook Pro Repair Guide on our site. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash ifixit. Thanks for watching and happy repairing.